I want to involve you in a game, a playful game, not a TA game in uh, TA terms. And I just want to give you a warning, two warnings. Um, uh, if you all participate, it's great. Uh, however, I want to warn you that uh, you'll be blindfolded. So if one of you has problems in being blindfolded while doing this kind of game, no problem, just to say it in advance. And uh, uh, I will be giving you, uh, you'll, you'll have uh, one or two things, one or two objects uh, in your hands. And uh, you will need to identify uh, the two missing pieces, their shape and their color. So you'll have to find a way to identify the two missing pieces. And considering uh, the large cultural group, it's going to be quite a challenge. I think also it's a challenging group and uh, with lots of resources. So just the, the warning is that uh, it's, you know, it will require energy and uh, a level of investment. Okay, It's not a relaxing activity, that's what I mean. And I think it may be interesting and activating at this time of the day. <laughs> I don't want to discourage you. I am. I just want to be clear. Yes. So can I ask? Um, yes. Are we are we all doing this simultaneously? Yes. Oh, okay. So we'll all be blind. Yes. And we'll yes, all yes. have our own set of things. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And can I say to those of you who are thinking mm, not sure um, that Sylvie and I have a lot of coincidences. And one of them is when she mentioned this game a couple of days ago, because I know it well and have used it many, many times in organizations. And it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I really, so really encourage you. It's good. <laughs> I'm warning you, she's encouraging you. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing the hypnotists <laughs> and she's doing the straight adult. Yeah, I'm speaking to other ego states. Um, I highly recommend. Okay. So, one of you, uh, are you all uh, willing to participate? Willing and ready to participate? Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. So, these are the things to blindfold you. Uh, you can take one and then pass the others around. I have 20 over here. Go ahead. Um, I, my question is, if the, are we going to be bumping into each other? No, 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 you'll be sitting. Oh, so we're not moving, it's not no, physical. No, no, no. If you wear glasses, it might be um, useful to remove your glasses safely. <laughs> you want to be a boy scout? <laughs> I kind of. Okay, so be sure to blindfold you. And while they're doing that, I'll do the running commentary entertainment. you will need to identify the two missing pieces but I will be distributing pieces to all of you you will need to identify the two missing pieces their shape and their color of the two missing pieces I will distribute all the pieces except two and you will need to identify the two missing pieces their shape and their color dovrete identificare i due oggetti mancanti la forma e il colore Okay. 
no, 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 il gruppo grande, no, no, nessun sottogruppo, è tutto il gruppo grande che fa questo. Uh, you have to identify, tienen que identificar dos pegasitos, uh, tienen que identificar la forma y el color de dos pegasitos mancantes. Yo voy a, a distribuir a, a cada uno un pegasito, uno o dos pegasitos, y tienen que identificar la forma y el color de los dos que mancan, que faltan. Okay? You look like a bunch of people the pirates have discovered. <laughs> Beautiful. If, when I do this exercise, mm -hmm. I have um, the iPads that you get on an airline. Mm -hmm. Not beautiful, but this is no, very this is attractive. Nicer, yeah, very Probably attractive. Italy, we like beauty. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and luxury. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's much nicer. And some people have taken it matched with the... Yeah, <laughs> Lisa a lot. <laughs> Wonderful. More than one, so... <laughs> yes, yes. What? Can I keep this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, if you want, if you like it, why not? <laughs> okay, once you are all blindfolded, I can uh, go ahead and distribute, but you need to be all blindfolded. Friedrich, you're not... Uh... Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, are you all ready and blindfolded? So, Sylvie's coming around with pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give each of you pieces. Mm -hmm. And while she's doing that, I will... Sylvia's already mentioned how she and I met in Spain some years ago and discovered that we were both doing um, systemic TA approaches, her in Rome and Florence and me in Oxford, which was amazing to find somebody else doing something similar. But we also discovered very quickly that we lived almost next door to each other when we were 10 or 11 years old, which was amazing to find out, <laughs> let alone the fact that we had lived almost next door to each other in another country, for both of us in another country. So it's very interesting how we discover things and how we discover things. And there's been conversation earlier today about engagement and dialogue and the importance of these things. And you are going to be discovering some things about the missing pieces, two missing pieces. You need to find the shape of the missing piece and the color of the missing piece. And the camera will be panning around you, feeling these pieces. Most of you already have at least one piece. There's a few more to be distributed. to you only to questions concerning uh, if you ask me what color is this I'll tell you <coughs> and nothing more than that okay you have different rules yes, no. uh, yes burned yellow okay what is it uh, gitan black Red. Black. Nero. Green. Blue. Orlando blue. Green. Who said mine? Rhonda? Yellow. Lisi, black. Green. Green, Thomas. Uh, we 
which one? Show me. One up. The one up is green. I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, green. Yes. Am I? Blue. Uh, Margarete, maybe. Am I? Uh, green. Am I? Mm -hmm. This is another one for you. And yours, yellow. Who was this you? Uh, uh, I was talking to Trudy. No sex in Italy. No. That's green. Yes. That is white. Uh, Randa, black. What color is it? Red, Antonella. Red. Red. Eh, 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 Yellow, Marilla. Yellow. No. Cesare, red. Cesare. Lisa, so you can what yellow. color is this? Uh, Lizalop, red, the one you're raising. Yes, Thomas, you are. You have to identify the two missing pieces, their shape and their color. You have to identify the two missing pieces, their shape and their color. Uh, uh, ask me and I'll tell you if I can answer to you or not. Go ahead. Yes. It's a set of pieces. Okay. From this set of pieces, two shapes and two colors are missing from this whole set of pieces that have been distributed. Uh, white, to the white, yes. Uh, red, Gunther. Yes, they have been distributed. All of them have been distributed except 
have for two pieces. Except for two pieces, all of them have been used. We have to find some. So we have to get organized, do we? Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. So, this moment, so all pieces have been distributed except for two, is that right? Except for two, yes. E yes. noi possiamo farci domande. And, And you can, can ask, ask each question. other questions. Yes, you can ask each other questions. Can I ask you which one are missing and what the colors? Uh, what? Can I ask you which ones are missing and what they're colors? No, of course, that's why you have to find out. Yeah, yeah, that's why I just asked. Yeah, that's why I just asked. Yeah, that's why I just Cosa? Rifai la domanda? <laughs> allora, noi abbiamo in mano pezzi colorati o rossi, o grigi, o verdi, o gialli. We have colored pieces. So we have pieces that are traducibili. Yeah, scusate. Ok, quelli che mancano corrispondono per colore a quei colori che ho già detto o sono altri? So the question is this. No, you have to find out how many there are. Allora, traduci, traduci. So, uh, are you going to tell us how many, what the pieces are that are missing, or do we have to find this out? Allora, per, dovremmo sapere quanti sono tutti. So, we need to know how many have been distributed. The whole is not right. Io propongo di dire, di numerare le persone che hanno due pezzi. Io comincio uno. I would suggest that we um, indicate the number of people who have got two pieces and we would uh, give number one to them and give them the number of two pieces. How many people have two pieces? I have two pieces. Due. Allora, uno, due, quattro. I have got two. But who's got two? Number yourself. One, two. Tell your name also. Uh, give, yourself yeah. a, uh, give yourself a number. I mean, uh, he's got two, so he's yeah, one. Then, um, Who's the he? Uh, yes. Orlando. Yes. Orlando. Then, then, so two. Bert has got two, so he's number two. Then, from two. Renato. Renato? Three. Three. Squadra. My number or my number? No, no, you're not best. Those should talk who have two pieces and and take a number. Okay, I had two pieces. I don't think taking number is not good when we're doing numbers. I have we have had category confusion. I have two pieces and pieces. A, B, C. Four. I have two pieces. Un altro suggerimento. Another suggestion. Andiamo per colore. Allora, no, comincio io. E ognuno e poi tocco la persona alla destra. So I'll start and I'll touch the person on my right. E ognuno dice quanti pezzi ha e facciamo la somma. Each person says how many pieces they have in their hands so that we can add up the numbers and get the final number. Chi tiene il numero? Okay, li tengo io. Okay. And he'll keep count. Due. 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 Sono Riegi.
have to say? Say it out loud. Touch the person next to me. I have copies. Tocca la persona accanto a te. Tocca la persona accanto a te. This game is that you identify the two missing pieces. Okay? Me too, a hole in the middle. 
Your job is just to translate. Devi solo tradurre, sì. Devi solo tradurre, non dire nulla. allora non erano tutti. Sono tutti. In questo momento sono tutti. Quindi i due che mancavano erano quelli che sono arrivati. No. Dovete ricordare. So the two. Blue. No. Adesso ne abbiamo 34 e quindi gli originali erano 36 e questo mi torna di più. Ok, so we, we now have 34 handed out, which means that the total number is 36, so this makes more sense for me now. The deep ascent. Ha un senso perché è divisibile per un altro numero. Io credo che abbiamo probabilmente sei colori. E probabilmente sei forme. Mettilo più su perché non vedo con il colore. Come? Non vedo la forma, per bene, mettilo un po' più su. Sì, 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 sì. Uh, sorry, is this shape that we have described and it's in red? It's in red, yes. Yeah. 
That's correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, it is nobody, correct. Nobody has used oh. oh, so that's based, that. yeah. based on an assumption that there's a certain number of a certain shape. Uh, a certain yeah. Guarda, hai due do ci sono due persone che hanno chiesto. 50% of success is in math. So now we have to find the other one. So who's got circles? Is that okay? So I have a piece that is yellow with a circular hole in the middle. So who, who else has a piece with a circular hole? Me. I have a circle too. With a round hole at the center. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I have a yellow piece with a hole, a round hole in the center. Yeah. Okay, what is the shape of your hole? Aspettate. What is the shape? Qual è la forma? Aspetta. Forse la cosa migliore è chi ha il pezzo col foro al centro, dica il colore. Okay, so let's ask the people who have um, the, uh, um, a piece with a round hole in the middle. Uh, we'll ask them to say the color of that piece. Green. White. Yellow. Blue. I mean, Nero. Black. Red. Green. Okay. Yeah. White. Black. Red. Red. Black. Yeah. Okay. It's not this. Okay. We have six. We have two white. Is this possible? Uh, no. Did somebody say white already? Yes. Yes? Yes. I have white too. So. Okay. Allora, ci sono due pezzi col foro. So there are two pieces that have a round hole. Bisogna descriverne uno. So we need to describe one of them. Okay, chi lo ha? Mi descriva. Who wants to describe theirs? Allora, il mio pezzo è con il foro centrale rotondo, poi ha due rotondità e quattro punte senza la parte finale. Uh, so I have a piece that has a round hole at the begin at, at the center, and then there are two uh, rotondità, hai detto? Sì, alla parte esterna, uh, come se fosse eh, circolare, però si interrompe perché ci sono quattro punte che però non hanno la parte finale, sono come tagliate. So uh, the four sides are rounded, but they don't form four uh, peaks, let's say, because the end of the peak is being cut off, it's truncated. Ma vuoi dire che ci sono come due semicerchi? Due semicerchi esterni. Two half circles, semicircles, exter two semicircles. E, e per quanto riguarda due lati, e per, two quanto, sides. e per quanto riguarda gli altri lati è come se ci fossero due forme triangolari che sono rientranti. Quattro. Erano quattro punte. No, uh, con la punta finale però tagliata, quindi vengono, sono quattro trapezzi. Per se te vuoi four trapezes. Sembra come una farfalla. Ha detto come una farfalla. Ah, no. like a butterfly. Sembra. And that's in green, yes? And mine is the same shape in yellow. So is there anybody else who has this shape? Three triangles and a square? And a longer base? Who wants it to take? 
they said they had a long way to go as well. I have, I have a blue sky. My, my piece is black. And do you have three triangles and one square on this baseline? Two base lines in mine. Okay, so two triangles. I think mine has a three triangle base which can accommodate three triangles. And Silvia and I have the impression that we have the same shape. Can I ask a question? Avete 10 minuti ancora. You have 10 more minutes to go and then we'll be over with our timing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Posso fare una domanda? Can I ask sì, a sì. question? Sì, certo. Vorrei più più sapere se qualcuno ha un pezzo che non ha fuori al centro. Is there someone that has a piece without any hole? Io. Io. Yes. 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 Quanti sono? Yes. How many? Io nero. One. Black. Blu one. Rosso. Red. One black. One yellow. Yellow. One, one green. green. One blue. 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 One red, one 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 with the two sides that are concave and two that are square. Yes. I have two similar pieces that are the same. Credo simili a Cesare. Like Cesare's. E sotto inizia con una mezza luna. Sì. Quando ti permette, se c'è un pezzo quadrato, tipo quadrato, poi si riaprono tipo due braccia. Sì. E, e finisce con appunto una semiluna. Sì, no, so it's like a semi luna. Sì. Uh, okay. Sì. Io ne ho due. Okay. Okay. Sylvie? So so yes. yes. so can I yes. ask a yes. clarification yes. here? Do, do we have to tell you the, you can the ask color in a or the shape yeah. of the missing pieces? Una verde, silent, please. Io una rossa. Io ho una verde e una gialla. Io rossa. Allora, verde, gialla, rossa. Blu. Blu. 
Okay, so what, what we are trying to do is we are figuring out what variety of diversity we have. But if we make it very simple, and I ask Sylvie now, are we missing a circle and are we missing a square? I cannot answer to that. Why not? Because I cannot, this is part of what you have to find out. No, you have found no. out one, one shape you have found out already, no. that you are missing, one shape and one color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 what a shape is. Can you please define what the shape is? Uh, whatever yeah. your own definition of a shape is, uh -huh. I cannot define further than that. Yes, yeah, so, so I think we are missing the shape of, of a circle and the shape of a square. Traduci. I'm, I'm just wanting to know if we are missing the shape of a circle and the shape of a square. It's a different definition of shape. I cannot answer to you. I cannot answer to you. This is a question you're asking to the group. Okay. Is there a What do you think about, what do you think then about the following agreement? If we are now losing ourselves in, in defining that diversity, if we just say what the shapes we all need are a circle and a square. And we agree on that. And we give that to Sylvie, then we get a decent answer. That this is not the right answer. Yeah. If it is square and a, sorry, let's make a circle and a triangle, I don't think. No. 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 So I, I think all of our shapes are different from a circle, and all of our shapes are different from a square. Uh, it's possible to incastrarle. Uh, can, um, can we put them, uh, make them match? No, can we, can, can, would you like to help me, and, and then, I, then I get an answer from Sylvie, if we all what agree, that we, when, when, we, when we as a group agree that the two shapes that we all are missing is a, is a circle and is a square. No. We, we agree on that, and we ask her, then at least we get an answer. No. So we, we don't <laughs> do a no. <laughs> 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 we are good psychologists. We have six colors su 36 pezzi. 36 pieces. Quindi per che sia possibile fare questo esercizio, evidentemente ci sono sei forme diverse. In order for this exercise to be possible, there are six shapes. Altrimenti l'esercizio sarebbe impossibile. Otherwise the exercise would be impossible. Okay. Abbiamo già scartato due forme, okay. una perché l'abbiamo trovata. We've discarded two forms, one because we found it, e l'altra perché ne abbiamo già sei. And the other because we have six of them. Adesso conviene scegliere una qualsiasi delle altre quattro forme. So at this forme. point we should choose one of the other four shapes that are left. E vedere se ci sono tutte e sei colori. And see whether we have the six colors. E se ce ne sono cinque, il sesto è quello. Quindi... And so if there are five, then uh, the one missing is of that shape. Ora io ho già scartato le mie due. Now I don't have any left because I've discarded mine. Quindi se uno qualunque descrive il suo pezzo. So if somebody describes their piece, Vediamo quanti altri no, colori ci sono. Possiamo vedere e possiamo scoprire quanti persone hanno bought per vari colori. Allora, io posso provare. Yeah, before we continue with Sena, uh, I have to check something because we stopped this pattern of solution when we found two white. Uh, and I'm not sure. Uh, I want to check whether this was this true. So, this is white. White, yes, Ben, this is white. And do somebody else have a, 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 a form with a hole in the middle that is white? Yes. So, there are two. So. Yes. This is why the pattern of solution didn't work last time. But are they the same shape? But perhaps there are two. The Maybe we have two forms with a hole in the middle? Then they are different uh, with a round hole in the middle. Okay. Different shape. And what did you say? Una persona che ha il polo centrale. So, okay. Yeah. 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 Allora, io posso cominciare a descrivere il mio pezzo. Allora, I, I can describe mine. 
Allora, il mio pezzo ha un foro rotondo centrale. So mine has the round hole in the middle. I have similar but red, my feet. So my piece is yellow with a hole in the center. Poi eh, consideriamo eh, la parte su, a, a due, ai due lati eh, due semicerchi uh, two sides are two semicircles or che vanno a continuare in una forma lineare then become, uh, linear. verso gli altri due lati che sono eh, come se formassero quattro uh, trapezi, quattro forme. So the piece is as if they it were to form four trapezes e vanno a finire uh, all'interno a forma triangolare. They end up in a triangular form internally. It's complicated to describe it. È fatto a, a questi due semicerchi, uno sopra uno sotto, e eh, gli altri lati sono questi quattro, uh, quattro trapezi uh, There are two semicircles uh, at the top and the bottom, and then there are two um, uh, two trapezes that uh, jut out on the side, on either side, so they fall pieces that are jutting out. Mm. I wonder if it um, is it worth finding out how many pieces with the triangles in the middle have been discarded, so how many pieces are left? Yes. 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 You have two more minutes no. to go, and we'll be over with the turkey, and we'll be over with the time available for you. So we sing a song. Proviamo un altro. Uno che ha un pezzo facile da descrivere, prova a farlo. Is there someone who has a piece that's easy to describe? Yeah, it's 12 degrees on the left and 13 degrees to the north. It's crazy. 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 We achieved 50%. Let's make a guess. One of the pieces that's missing has got a circle in the middle. Is this true or not? Okay. Stop. Yes, you can take it. Wait, 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 wait a second. Now, you can, you, can, you can have a look at other pieces. First of all, this is one piece that Thomas Tyler had. He had to run away just now, one minute ago. This is his piece, but it's not the missing piece. This is not the missing piece. Let me show you the missing pieces. You want to see the missing pieces? The one you guessed and the one you didn't guess? So this is the one you guessed. This was the first one, the one you guessed. Okay? Red, and this was the shape. And this is the one you didn't guess. But I would have guessed my next question. Answer my question. The last question before the time was up was, is the missing piece with a circle? You would answer, uh, answer no. So I would say the missing piece would have not have a hole in it. It's not a not a lot of Oh, no, no, of course not. Not at the end of the game. No, no, no.
I could only answer not questions about shades, but about colors. That was the that was the whole point about this. What color is this? What color is this? Not about shades, which is the question that also Thomas repeatedly asked. <laughs> not about shades. So please give me. So just yes, please give me. You can put on the table so that I can check that. That I put all of them. Please put them on the table. Okay, so I just want to uh, I just want to tell you that to my opinion you did quite well considering the complexity of this group. I think you did quite well. I've done this exercise many, many times with all sorts of different groups. Uh, it's the first time I'm doing it with a group from so many different languages and cultural context. So I think you did quite well. Uh, I also want to give you uh, an information, uh, just because I'm not a baster, and I don't want to be a baster. <laughs> non sono una bastarda e non voglio essere una bastarda. So I want to give you one further information that at the beginning I gave to you 34 pieces. Then Rosemary, who is always very curious <laughs> and full of curiosity, took one of my bags and she said, but look, there are no missing pieces. So I went and took away two pieces <laughs> of two of you <laughs> to find out she had looked in the wrong bag, <laughs> which was not the right bag. <laughs> so I had to give back the two pieces. And then, then I'm telling you this because in a way, it helped the process at the beginning because Orlando said, okay, so you know, they have to be 36 because they can be subdivided, etc. So there was a further variable, which I think is extremely interesting because our codes of references, mine and Rosemary, in a way, sort of meddled up for a little piece the whole process. I thought it wasn't the right number because she told me it's missing. And this is what happens, I think, very often within organizations. No, 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 there is a piece missing. Yeah. Yes, 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 the piece is here. <laughs> oh, no, let me give it to you back. So I think it was perfect in terms of what happened, especially because we were working together. We could see, we could see, we were working together. And the idea was that I would carry out the game and she would check the process. So I'm thinking there, oh, two pieces missing. What's happening with the whole process? Okay, so I, this, this is something, because I'm not a bastard, I'm telling you, the missing piece, so that you have the possibility to process this in a, in a clearer way, okay? With, and now with, with one further piece of information. So, what did you experience? What did you observe? What did you Do we have the microphone somewhere else? Okay, so what did you experience? What did you observe? What, what, did you, what did it make you think in terms of culture and organizational culture? Started uh, and and, um, and so until he uh, took over, I was feeling very frustrated because I was trying to ask questions and I didn't know whether the answers were being addressed to me or to somebody else. So there was lots of um, uh, confusion. Let's say. So I heard people So there was all this confusion it seemed 
it seemed impossible to get to, to, to make headway because uh, people were talking at the same time. There were questions being asked, answers being given, not knowing to whom they were being given. So at the beginning, when there was all that confusion, when it wasn't clear what we were supposed to be doing, and uh, uh, and I didn't know what what to do, I felt this anger that was swelling up. Because I, because I didn't know exactly what I was supposed to be doing. And I felt like uh, running away, scappare via. And so I, I was happy that I stayed and that uh, uh, I uh, got managed to understand what was going on. And I, I'm happy that I took an active part in the process. What it made me realize is that um, what you just said about strong emotion, we were trying to distill a set of principles with which we could make decisions about how to manage ourselves. And that takes time, especially with multiple frames of reference, different notions about what it is we're doing, um, different extents to which people clarified with Sylvie what we were doing and how culturally in it, the temptation is to rush to the solution and that's the um, parallel I would make with organizations is that the pressure to come up with an answer in a situation where there's so many variables makes it hard to think and I found my own reaction to this was to want to listen really deeply to see what the patterns were that were emerging and how we were talking and I noticed that the implication of that was that I didn't participate much. So then I went to a place of thinking I'm not really contributing much and then I realized that in contributing much but then I realized that in any group of people you need different capacities. You need a reflective capacity. You need a, um, somebody taking the lead, perhaps. You need somebody uh, or a group of people who experiment and try things out. And you need other people who step back and watch. So then I felt OK and thought, well, that's the function I have at this time, perhaps. And I wondered, Helen, what you've just described as happening in the game, a reflection of what was said earlier about the frustration and anger, whether this was parallel to your experience in this system that you reported before lunch. So I think that uh, the solution way of uh, talking without knowledge uh, is overestimated. I was in a series of moods of uh, feelings. Initially, I focused on gathering information, for instance, knowing what the total number of these pieces was to be. And then I was excited with enthusiasm when I had figured out a criterion or a way of proceeding and a way of communicating it to the others. And then when I, exhausted, when I had depleted all of my personal uh, resources, 
because the two pieces I had were, uh, well, I, I had found a solution for them, so they, they weren't in the game anymore. I started accumulating frustration because I, I, was, I was looking forward to somebody else taking on the baton from there and following in the same footsteps. And then I realized that I had had this line of reasoning and I hadn't shared it with the others. I told, I was telling others what to do and without telling them why. I did it afterwards, but it was perhaps a bit too late. And my response to um, Orlando taking control was uh, the big loud voice and I felt annoyed. <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> and then <laughs> I sat back and listened to this loud voice and it had reason. <laughs> and so, it was okay. <laughs> so because I, because I agreed with the, uh, what the loud voice said, I uh, could, didn't need to be angry with it. I could let this go, this is fine. And on I went with the problem solving. If I hadn't agreed with this, I think I would have had a different response. Mm. Also, for me, uh, t my two pieces had triangles in the middle. So once we'd resolved that bit, I kind of felt that I didn't have... It was everybody else had to solve it then. So I... No team responsibility there. No, no, then I took responsibility for my, my next-door neighbour. I went down to the individual level. And I was very supportive, was I not? And I was very supportive to my friend next door. And you did some coaching on feelings to solve the problem. <laughs> Stop it. You did some, some, some what did you say? He said, he said, I did coaching on feelings to solve the problem. Which is what he meant, ironically. But not self-ironic, ironic to me. Get Italian. <laughs> Loud voice without confidence. Yeah. <laughs> We're making jokes about the fact that Vance is telling me off moving down to the individual level to solve a problem when we should be thinking systemically. And I am telling him to get off the <laughs> So for me, it was very good that she took my support because I could neither understand the exercise in English nor in Italian. So I had really missing the words and I could n never describe my pieces. And I think I was in danger to be lost because it's after lunch, I'm tired, I didn't understand anything. There was a lot of people speaking. And so for me, your loud voice was really good because I, I could concentrate to this voice and I could try to understand. So I understood what you want to do, but I couldn't express it. And so it was very helpful that she remarked her and helped me a lot to take part. <laughs> I want to point out something which was very interesting that happened inside the group, uh, uh, which was just mentioned, is that uh, there was a need, when things are not understood or they are sort of confused, etc., there is a need to connect to somebody. And this is exactly what happened. They connected between one another. 
uh, Maggie started asking questions to Benedetta, <laughs> who was supplying further information. And uh, Thomas and uh, Trudy and someone else were doing this here. And at times, some of the Italians were sort of supporting each other, like the Italian team. And I think, really, the subdivision in subgroups, uh, when something is unclear or sort of confused, it's part of a process. And I think it influences greatly the possibility of success or lack of success. Because there are sub-interpretations which are not necessarily shared. So the common frame of reference gets lost with this kind of fragmentation. And I think this is extremely interesting. As the comments that uh, <coughs> Silvia was making, on, Silvia and Rhonda were making on the voice of Orlando. Uh, because the voice, was a way, the voice and the structuring was a way to take the leadership, obviously. And a uh, helpful leadership at that time, because it was successful. And at the same time, uh, what Randa indicated is exactly a phenomenon that happened. Uh, Rona, <laughs> yes, sorry, Rona. <laughs> what Rona indicated at the same time was that at the beginning she was quite annoyed that there was a leader emerging so clearly and so soon. So I think this is quite interesting also in terms of the different processes we are going through here on several levels. I was also an observer and on this point of leadership, and particularly as today we began looking at gender, male, female, what was very interesting was very quick bids for leadership amongst several of the men. Thomas, Bent, Orlando, you were bidding for leadership between you. And Orlando won. And I was surprised because he is from the minority language group but this is his territory. And territory is maybe dominant, even if it's a minority group holding the territory, as we see in various parts of the Middle East, for example. So that was a very interesting piece. I noticed it, and we have the video we can see later. Again and again and again, women were trying to take leadership here or to say things. There were a number and it was completely discounted or overlooked by men and by women. And that was a very interesting phenomena to observe. I was also curious when you lost the leadership or you gave it up, you talked about um, the baton being passed on. And of course, this is so important that the leader visibly passes the baton to somebody else. You can't put the baton down and wait for somebody else to pick it up. You have to give it to somebody. And that was really interesting to observe what happened at that point. And then you eventually picked it up again. <laughs> it was fascinating. I do a number of pieces of work I've, and I, in the past and in the present in my own experience with virtual teams and virtual teams have to meet by telephone across the world. A virtual teams across the world from different language backgrounds and different time zones. And I saw happen here exactly as I've seen team meetings or heard team meetings of virtual teams, which are becoming more and more common with global organizations. People get lost, ideas get lost, leadership gets lost. Very, very interesting. I think there was, oh, this is a fascinating point you are making, uh, Rosemary. And I think there was something else very interesting that happened in terms of the leadership, which is an interesting phenomenon again. The energy went up because of such confusion and difficulties and frustration when he gave a clear direction, when Orlando gave a clear direction. Then when he gave up the leadership, sort of left it on the floor without somebody else picking it up, as Rosemary was saying, the energy of the group went down noticeably. And Thomas Steiner, because of the frustration, was consistently trying to switch the rules around <laughs> and to make me change them. <laughs> That's 
when Bern said uh, you are a good psychology. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure whether I share some of the interpretations. Uh, I loved somebody taking the leadership, and I would certainly have loved it if a woman would have done this. But I didn't have the feeling that a woman has decided to take resources and, and attention. And you did, and as long you had an idea of uh, that you you can uh, be responsible for it because you have an idea of a solution pattern. And I did not see you withdraw because you do not uh, dare leadership, but because uh, uh, you could not longer be responsible for the attention you take because the pattern dissolved. The pattern dissolved. <laughs> the, pa the solution pattern you, you have been representative of. And so, but certainly for me, this would have been the same if women would have spoken out loud enough. Give that to me. Yes. Do you want to have a go? Sorry. I've just given it back again. <laughs> <laughs> May I make sh uh, two short comments as an observer? Because the one thing I also recognized, at the moment we had two white pieces and it seemed to be that they're two of the same shape. There was like no, no thinking of how could be the solution. And in that moment, the process got into a stop. And also the leadership got into a stop, maybe. But the second point I think it's very interesting is um, that you try to discuss, not dis try to discuss what you mean by shape, maybe the inner shape or the outer shape, all the time you try to describe something, and even if it had been the same shape, you did not recognize that is the same. And from that moment on, it, it got really like rid of a structure and a process, and maybe this is just an impulse I saw from outside to give this back into the group. Yes, uh, I thought that, I could feel that. Okay, so a, a couple of things uh, for me. Um, the, uh, what I saw happening in the leadership was that um, if, you're, if you have permission to take leadership on the basis that you have a, an idea that you can follow towards a solution, you take it. Um, and this is what I heard Orlando do. Um, before Orlando took the leadership, I said, um, should, we, should we talk about how we are going to do this? So I would say that, and this was lost in the melee. Um, and that was partly because you did it in a classic female way. Uh -huh. Just to ask a question, rather than to make it a statement, we are doing this. That's the, the very big difference. Okay, so here we have a difference. So, but is it a difference as in I'm not, are we saying that as a woman I wasn't making a bid for the leadership because I didn't do it in a male way? <laughs> the second part of the sentence. Or is what I'm asking for is that our frame of reference is extended so that a question could also takes a um, uh, it can be heard as a bid for leadership, but of course a question takes time for every person to process in order to respond, as opposed to a statement which we can then follow. So again, I t t thinking about culture, I would think about time and pace. Remember I said pace before lunch. And I wonder if this is part of the reason for, it's not that women can't do it or that we couldn't have done this with a woman lead. It's how we bid for leadership. That means that in a male-female collide, the man will win because he's faster on fast, perhaps. This is my... 
just one question, is it about female or male or is it more like a question scientific way or another way? Because what he did was just using mathematics and more like um, sciences, like d deductive thinking and other people maybe use another style and maybe it's not based on male or female, it's more based on the paradigm you are working with. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to say something about that because I think there are entire, there is a variety of styles of bidding for leadership. And I personally think, this is my own point of view, that at this time and era that we are sharing, and at least this I'm sure is true for Italy, I don't think there is such a clear difference in bidding for leadership in the younger generation of males and women. In fact, I think that many women bid for leadership uh, in a very sort of new way. Sometimes it may be in a very assertive way. At times it's much on the opposite. I, you know, the post-feminism in Italy makes a lot of women <laughs> be very maleish in their bid for leadership. So I think this whole issue about gender is very complex because it's so rapidly evolving and I don't know much about England. I think England, from what I know historically, England, I'm talking about England because just the two of you are English, but I think it may be true for other countries as well, I don't know. I think there is a tradition of women being anticipator of their times. Uh, I think there is a long tradition uh, you know, of women way before in Italy, women were very actively involved in uh, defending their rights and their position. So I think that there, are, there may be very different phenomena, that's what I am thinking just now, in the way women bid for leadership uh, here now in our times in Italy. So uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a very different issue we are, I think it's a, it's a very different way we're addressing the same issue. Because our, uh, may, because our histories and our male gender relationships have evolved so much. And I think we are much more dealing with polarities here in Italy right now. Very strong polarities. So that's, that's my own point of view. And then also uh, Renato wanted to say something. And which is good because it's Latin. Yeah. yeah, so I just want to clarify men and women, literal, is different from male and female. Yeah? Okay. This may have got a bit lost by now, but I'll try and pick it up. Um, there's, there's something about the visual and the auditory. When Rona was talking about her raising a question, I think if I, it wasn't so much that we couldn't um, see the things that we were working with, the pieces, but for me it was really important that I couldn't see people's faces and I couldn't see the visual and emotional signals that I would normally be looking out for. And so I think that your question, shall we, would have been picked up if we hadn't been blindfolded and could have been perhaps some kind of corporate leadership, but it got lost because the, the visual part wasn't there. So that's got a lot to say for systems and what goes on. Renato and then Helen. I was um, just trying to uh, understand my, my feelings and in order to give um, a, a way to express, I, despite of being blind, to hear too much voices and almost being cooked by the sun, <laughs> I was at the beginning very interested in to the, to, to find and the challenge and to find the strategy. And uh, since Orlando uh, brings something rational, uh, it seems, okay, let's collaborate. And at the point that the challenge of the strategy was put on, I suddenly lost the interest. And I understand that many in times in my experience, I saw uh, such process happening when the organizations invest uh, many efforts, many energy, too much energy to define a strategy, and suddenly they can't 
uh, implement the strategy and the activity just fall down like we did here so it was the activities the, the energy fall down and the activity is not finished the results are not gathered in totally fully and it was very intense I'm thinking aloud here, but if we go back to our contract, our contract was to solve a problem. And your leadership came in, for me, at the level of solvability. It was an option for solving the problem, whereas your intervention was more about the how and harvesting the, the intelligence within the group, so possibly at the level below. And I'm wondering about, culturally, the extent to which different cultures associate leadership with solving a problem. I, I don't think that the leadership lies in the way in which a problem is dealt with. Because it is true that I uh, developed a, stra a strategy and I shared it. Whereas Rona was suggesting, let's look for a strategy together. And these are two different ways of approaching things that are equally valid. Uh, but this has to do, I think, with the fact that uh, the leader uh, is um, necessary when a structure is needed. So asking a question is one thing, and instead saying, um, we're going to think about this now, is a different thing. We're going to think about this question or this thing. If I say, what do we think about a certain thing, that's one thing. Uh, instead, if I say, uh, well, now we're going to start talking about how, uh, uh, about this problem, that's a different approach. And another aspect has to do with the difficult conditions in which we were, because we were blindfolded. And another aspect of leadership, in my view, is that of uh, dealing with uh, communicational uh, difficulty, communication-related difficulty. And so if we're blindfolded and uh, we speak different languages, we can't go about things the way we normally do. I raised my voice, something that I usually don't like doing, and those who know me know this. But it was the only way in that situation to be heard. I would have liked your suggestion. It was a good idea, but I didn't hear it. For instance, I didn't hear it. No, no, e credo che in questo senso eh, essere eh, un uomo con la voce più potente aiuta. And so in a situation like that, <laughs> being a man with a powerful voice helps. <laughs> Undoubtedly it helps. So 
So let's not take it away from there was a task to be done. The task was issued to you. The signing up for the task or the contracting for the task was, as in many organizations and systems, quite a limited one. This is what you're going to do. And you don't have all the resources to do it with. The delegation of the task is not clear. You are effectively in different countries, literally in different languages and different frames of reference. And you are unable to see each other, which has a massive impact. And there are many home workers working for organizations that can't see each other, that long for the companionship, which was emerging in different quarters as solace for the frustration of doing a meaningless task or as seemingly meaningless task. It's both a game, but it's also not a game. Uh, I, I think that, um, uh, uh, again, I'll, I'll pick up from the last uh, thing that Rosemary said, uh, there was a task to be done and I think that the importance, I, I think that there are two important issues in a task to be done. First of all is that if you have an indication that there is the solvability, the energy is activated in a way and uh, uh, many stages of uh, team forming or team building are skipped because the energy is really on the task to be resolved. And uh, the structure that was given by Orlando was in a way quickly accepted, except that some subgroups were created at the same time. So uh, my hunch is that the subgroups wanted to find their way in a different way. And I think this is what happens often. So I think because we have been talking about pace and the rhythm so much uh, this morning and it's sort of undercurrent, the pace and the rhythm, I think that there is a different pace and a different rhythm in terms of uh, solving the problems and resolving the task and arriving at the solution, and a different pace and rhythm in terms of building a team with such different, with, with, where people have such different characteristics and the matchings are so complex. Um, what I noticed is that um, the anxiety that is in organizations when the task is very, very poorly assigned, it creates anxiety and confusion, and that confusion comes out with a lot of talk, which is exactly what happened. Uh, so many people were talking, it was very difficult, because there was no visual sign whom to, to listen to, to hear so many different options which were going, going around. And uh, for me, it was more or, more or less of a miracle that suddenly we started following Orlando's suggestion and started doing it. And I felt relieved that, that okay, there's at least one action that we all are going through now. And um, uh, before that, um, or was it after? I don't know. I, at the moment when the, the, the one of the shapes were defined, where the, the triangle was missing in the, in, on, on, on the shape, um, just before somebody said it out loud, I discovered that it was a shape of a person, sort of. And, and I was wondering, hmm, how in earth am I going to transmit what I discovered to the rest of the team? And I was thinking that there's no way of shouting out louder than anyone else so that I can transmit what I had in my hands. And, and it, it's, I think it's, it's very close to what we feel in, in organizations when, when change or something should be happening, and it's, it's not. I'm aware that you work in an organization with 28 nationalities and 26 languages and a number of different sites. So more complex than we are today by far and thousands of people 
working in the organization. How does that system manage the complexity? And what did you see happening here that you see happening in that sort of organization where well, you didn't see it? But what do you think happened here? Yeah. Um, what, what happens happens in, in, in my organization and what happened here is this, this split into smaller groups. So listening only, because I couldn't, couldn't look, I couldn't see, I could hear some groups starting to talk and try to solve the issue individually. And, and um, there was one, there was, was another, and then there was, was a, a discussion somewhere, somewhere else. But there was so much noise, I couldn't even, even identify what was happening. And then there was, was this, this very gentle touch from my, my left, <laughs> touching me, and like, like, hey, we are here together, there is someone, however, human. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's the way it, well, that's the way it happens in the organization. It's, it's in, a, in, a, in a small, small thing here but it's it, it, it's similar and then when you have a role working across the organization the, the whole organization yeah is very difficult. yeah it is it's extremely difficult and and putting people together um, helping them to see that that the only way to be and work together is to <laughs> communicate and be ready to listen. And I didn't hear any listening here in this room. I didn't hear any listening. <laughs> I can, I, yeah, no, no, but I can hear a listening when there is only one person talking and the others are listening. That's what I hear listening. I couldn't see it, that's the way I hear. Yes, yeah. So that feels like a, an interesting point with that real life experience of this large organization which impacts so many of us to um, stop for... 15 minutes, a 15 minutes break. British, German, Italian... Oh, <laughs> you... <laughs> Stop asking me that. I keep adapting to the British German uh, timing, and the British Germans keep adapting to the Italian style. So we have to find <laughs> an area in between here. 